South Korea's financial regulator is warning the soundness of household debt in the country could become vulnerable fast, due mainly to a dangerous combination of greater borrowing for real estate speculation and tumbling house leasing prices. Our Kim ji has more. At a meeting late last week, the chairman of the Financial Services Commission, Che jong gu pointed to the size of the country's household debt, interest rate hikes and loans due to long-term home leases, or Cheonsei loans, as a major risk factors facing the economy. Cheonsei is a unique real estate arrangement in Korea where tenants live in a house or apartment for two or more years after paying a large lump sum deposit, which must be returned in full upon the end of the term. Che warned the country's Cheonsei system is increasingly becoming insolvent due to a combination of falling Cheonsei prices and expected rate hikes. Household debt estimated more than 1.3 trillion U.S. dollars is placing an enormous burden on the financial system and the economy. We have to prepare for risks such as cases of leaseholders not being able to pay back the deposits due to plunging Cheonsei prices. The average price of Cheonsei in Seoul started to fall in November of last year, but rural regions have seen Cheonsei prices slump since April 2017. The financial watchdog says it will come up with countermeasures this year that will limit the issuance of mortgage loans for speculated real estate practices while encouraging corporate investments. With this, Che said the government aims to slow the growth of household debt to about 5 percent by the end of 2021. Kim Jian. Arirang News.